Hello Virgo, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star. So Virgo, this is your reading for the month of December 2020 and take what resonates and leave what doesn't and energies might be vice versa, okay? Virgo, what is going on with you? Virgo, what is going on with you for the month of December? Virgo, what is going on with you? I'm shuffling the cards. Allow me some time before I lay them down, Virgo. Okay, Virgo, what is going on with you for the month of December? Virgo, what is going on with you for the month of December? Virgo, what is going on with you? And we have two of pentacles. Okay. What is going on with you? What is going on with you? We have knight of wands. What is going on with you? King of Swords. Okay. I'll talk about these three cards first. And then I'll shuffle again and lay down the rest of them. Okay. Virgo. Yeah, you're dealing with someone who was quite an in and out energy. Uh, who was... Uh, like, you know, I guess this person was my way or the highway. Okay, a person who was not certain, not sure about, basically not certain and sure about what they want from their life. And of course, not certain and sure about what they want from you, Virgo. Okay, quite a confused person, but they always like to put a facade that they are a very confident person. They know what they're doing and blah, blah, and blah. But at the bottom of their heart, they were always confused, okay? Especially especially when it comes to this connection, they never understood, like, why they are feeling so strong about, uh, about this connection, why they are feeling so passionate about this connection. I believe this person was someone who is, or who is already with someone else, okay? Probably this person may be married, may have kids, uh, or they may already have someone else already, uh, like, already they may have as a, uh, an existing partner but still they were so freakingly drawn towards you and they were they never understood why they felt such and such a way when it comes to you okay this person felt extremely passionate uh, about you passionate about this connection i believe this person couldn't keep their hands off you okay they always wanted to feel you this person uh, may be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. This person may be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, maybe an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Uh, quite an indecisive person. Quite uh, arrogant, if I may say. I'm sorry, but that's what I'm getting. Uh, arrogant and maybe rude also at times. Uh, and this arrogance and this rudeness were was stemming out of their insecurities uh, uh this arrogance and this rudeness was stemming out of their confusion okay uh, on one hand they were extremely insecure they were extremely confused about this connection insecure of losing you okay and on another hand they want oh, wanted to portray that they are a very confident person they know what the what the hell they are doing and they are very sure about themselves, whereas uh, the picture was extremely contrary. They were never sure about anything, okay? Never sure about uh, what they wanted out of this connection, what they wanted from you. And uh, at the same time, confused about this connection, why they are feeling so strongly for this connection. I believe that this was happening because, of course, there was some sort of a past life connection but there was some sort of unfinished business which got carried forward from your past life to this past life okay and they are both of you are trying to understand what was that unfinished business you may have understood uh virgo that you are a past life connection but this person is not uh, an awakened soul this person is not a spiritually elevated soul that they can understand uh terminologies about past life connection or terminologies they don't believe in spirituality probably this person is someone who is you know uh I'll not say a lower vibrational, but someone who takes life very casually, you know, you know, like uh, today I want to party out, I want to go and spend the entire night out, I want to get into drunk, uh, I want to, you know, they might be doing drugs, they might be too much into alcohol, 
and someone who gets influenced very fast someone who gets uh, swayed away by the glamorous life and the glamorous lifestyle very fast okay so they they are like huh what do you mean by spirituality and you know are you talking something funny don't tell me something that is stupid i don't believe in spirituality and all so this person has uh, such kind of an approach towards spirituality i guess a uh, very immature person i believe okay what more for virgo 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 what more do we have for virgo what more do we have for virgo we have seven of swords okay what more do we have for virgo what more do we have for virgo what more do we have for virgo three of swords interesting ten of wands okay all right yeah so because of their immaturity because of their inconsistency because of their uncertainty because of they putting you in a third party situation you moved away right virgo you moved away you left this person uh, and uh, of course this person was taking you for granted this person never gave you what you deserved right so you moved away you are of course in separation right now and that's why you're watching this reading okay uh what happened after the separation was that this person took you so much for granted and this person is a very immature soul so this person is thinking that you moved away because you have someone else in your life okay now this is very funny and this is very immature thinking okay they don't want to accept whatever wrong they have done they don't know they don't want to get into any kind of confrontation this is someone who runs away from confrontation they don't want to take a blame on themselves that whatever wrong is going on in this relationship that is going on because of their own acts okay because of their own behavior they don't want to accept that they are putting the blame on you that you moved away because you have someone else in your life okay they want to blame you okay and on the top of it this person is <laughs> this This person genuinely believes not just they do not just they want to blame you but this person genuinely believes and assumes that you are with someone else even if you have moved on right now okay but at that point of time you moved on because this person didn't treat you right okay so this person is really heartbroken over the fact that you left them for someone else okay uh a uh, very heartbroken this person may be sending you uh, like you know uh you know they might they might send you a text a late night text in a drunken state of mind like you left me and you cheated upon me and you are with someone else and blah 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 and they don't want to accept what they did they are trying to blame you they are trying to vent out the frustration on you they are holding you responsible for everything okay and that was more frustrating for you that was more frustrating for you this person thinks that you have uh, they uh, you have deceived them you have deceived them you have cheated upon them and you moved away very slowly uh, uh you know out of this relationship you moved away very uh, in such a manner you moved out of this relationship in such a manner which was quite uh, you know which went quite unnoticed this person was busy with someone else this person was busy with third party and uh, of course you moved away and when you were moving out uh, they didn't knew that you were moving out and when they got to know that you moved out this was quite heartbreaking for them okay this was quite heartbreaking for them and uh, okay i i will be honest with you this person was thinking to uh, drop this connection okay for some of you this person is thinking to drop this connection this person is thinking to uh this person is thinking to you know move away from this connection i'll tell you why i'll tell you why they are someone who don't want to take the responsibility for whatever wrong has happened they don't absolutely don't don't want to take the responsibility for whatever wrong happened between both of you this was an amazing connection a very strong bonding both of you had but things went in an opposite direction because this person was not good this person was behaving in a wrong manner but they want to blame you 
okay now they are trying to tell you they are sending you late night a text and they are drinking and they are into under the influence of an alcohol they are sending you like fine you moved on even i'm moving away now let's end this and blah 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 okay so it's like a subtle threat that uh, they are telling you uh, that even you moved on that even i'll move away so that you know you may re rethink about this entire situation but for some of you this person may be thinking of moving on also okay uh moving on solely out of one reason that they don't want to confront anything this person fears confrontation this person fears taking responsibility of the wrong done this person i'll i'll be honest with you virgo this is not a man or this is not a woman okay let they they don't want to man up they don't want to woman up okay they don't want to take any kind of fucking responsibility and then don't be with a person who doesn't want to be responsible for whatever they have done why you want to be with someone okay let's see what's what is in store for you what more for virgo what more for virgo i saw 11 11 okay things better things are coming your way virgo let's see better things are coming your way what more for virgo last three cards spirit last three cards last three cards spirit last three cards yummy we have queen of pentacles okay what more for virgo what more for virgo emperor interesting someone new virgo someone new someone new someone powerful okay and the moon oh my god okay you may be dealing with an aries with a cancer and i guess i have taken the read out the signs already okay so virgo don't worry you are an earth sign money will never leave you right uh you are abundant right now you're working on yourself and i guess even you're looking the other way i guess even you are not interested in like even if they like you know they send you any kind of converse uh, they send you any kind of text you know uh try to attract at your attention i don't think so you will be interested i don't think so you're going to entertain them much because you are you are done with them you are like no i am at a different level you are at a different level i'm way too mature than you i'm way too spiritually awakened than you and you are nowhere near to me okay i want someone who is as at least as good as me or better than me okay and you are getting someone better you are getting someone better, Virgo. Be happy you are getting someone better, someone amazing, very powerful in terms of money, very powerful in terms of, you know, in whatever they believe in. This person is, uh, this person has a lot of powers, okay? This person is extremely independent, a very highly awakened soul, okay? This person is someone who is, uh, who will be, you know in front of the world they will come across as a very strong and a very what shall i say uh, a very strict kind of a personality but in front of you they are going to let their guards down okay you will be the boss in this relationship and they are going to be the boss for the outside world okay so this is going to be an amazing 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 relationship you're gonna you're gonna have uh, I guess you're gonna meet this person in year 2021, which is not far away, hardly a couple of days away. Okay, you people are gonna get drenched in love. This will be a very passionate relationship. You'll be extremely passionate about each other. You will love and care for each other a lot. You will be like get you will you will get drawn towards each other like a magnet okay the moment you see each other you will recognize that yes you are the one and most likely i see that this is going to turn into marriage okay for many of you uh i see that you're going to meet somewhere near a water body okay on the beach or something something related to the water or probably you're going to meet in a country which has which is surrounded by beaches okay or somewhere or something some relevance of water is there okay and you both will be drowned in love there is going to be so much of love so much of emotions in this relationship okay 
you're gonna enjoy this relationship this is this is a most likely this is the one for you you're gonna end up with this person okay all right Virgo I hope this resonates please hit like share and subscribe and comment down below till then bye